released in 1971, The Last Picture Show is a straightforward glimpse into small-town life in Texas. Directed by Peter Bogdanovich, the film captures the struggles and complexities of coming of age in a fading community. Set against the backdrop of a dying movie theater, the story follows the lives of high school friends as they navigate love, loss, and the harsh realities of adulthood. As you watch, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions with funny, shocking, and sad moments that keep you hooked. The narrative doesn't rely on extravagant language or elaborate metaphors, but rather it thrives on the authenticity of its characters and their experiences. Have you ever found a movie that struck a chord in your life? Share your personal story of how The Last Picture Show has inspired or impacted you. We're eager to hear your unique perspective. And speaking of stories, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic film? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Keep watching for more engaging content, and remember, your stories matter. Released in 1971, the film directed by Peter Bogdanovich has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Set in a small Texas town in the early 1950s, it explores the lives of its characters against the backdrop of a dying movie theater. The movie's impact lies not only in its compelling narrative, but also in the way it masterfully captures the essence of a bygone era. The legacy is deeply rooted in its realistic portrayal of the challenges and transitions faced by its characters as they navigate the complexities of adolescence and adulthood. The raw and unembellished storytelling has made it a timeless piece that resonates across generations. It doesn't merely showcase a specific moment in time, it delves into universal themes of love, loss, and the inexorable passage of time. What sets this film apart is its ability to connect with audiences on a personal level. The characters, portrayed by a talented cast including Jeff Bridges and Sybil Shepard, are relatable and their struggles mirror the universal human experience. The movie is not just about a fading town and its dilapidated cinema, it's a poignant reflection on the inevitability of change and the bittersweet nature of nostalgia. Even today, it remains relevant as it invites viewers to contemplate the transient nature of life and the inevitability of change. Its impact on cinema extends beyond its release as filmmakers and audiences continue to appreciate its nuanced storytelling and authentic portrayal of human emotions. In conclusion, its enduring legacy is a testament to its ability to capture the essence of human existence in a specific time and place. The impact, relevance, and universal themes ensure that it continues to be a cherished piece of cinema that transcends the boundaries of time. Behind the scenes of The Last Picture Show, there's a trove of captivating stories that unveil the human side of filmmaking. One remarkable anecdote involves the challenging weather conditions faced during the shoot. The small Texan town where the film was set experienced an unexpected cold spell. The cast and crew, unprepared for such temperatures, had to improvise with makeshift heating solutions on set. Despite the discomfort, this unexpected twist forged a sense of camaraderie among the team as they braved the elements together. Another interesting tale revolves around a memorable blooper that made its way into the final cut. In one scene, actor Ben Johnson, playing Sam the Lion, accidentally tripped over a prop, stumbling in a way that seemed entirely in character. Director Peter Bogdanovich, recognizing the authenticity of the moment, decided to keep it in the film. This unplanned incident added a genuine touch to the character, showcasing the magic that can emerge from the unscripted moments of filmmaking. The last picture show's leading lady, Sybil Shepard, also had her share of behind-the-scenes stories. Fresh to the world of acting, she found herself in awe of her co-stars and the production process. Shepard's genuine reactions and wide-eyed wonder translated seamlessly into her character, capturing the essence of the film's nostalgic and coming-of-age themes. As with any film production, there were challenges that tested the resilience of the crew. Budget constraints led to creative problem solving, forcing the team to find innovative ways to achieve their vision. These constraints, however, birthed inventive solutions and added a layer of authenticity to the film's portrayal of a small, economically struggling town. In retrospect, these behind-the-scenes stories offer a glimpse into the collaborative and unpredictable nature of filmmaking. The challenges faced and the spontaneous moments captured during the production of the last picture show contribute to its enduring charm, making it a classic that resonates with audiences even decades later. 
In the aftermath of completing the 1971 film, The Last Picture Show, a significant connection emerges with Red River. This cinematic choice concludes the storyline showcasing John Wayne in a cattle drive narrative. Post-production, Peter Bogdanovich and Larry McMurtry collaborated on a screenplay titled The Streets of Lairdo, centered on three former Texas Rangers partaking in a cattle drive. Initially, John Wayne and James Stewart were considered for roles, and Sybil Shepard was in contention for the female lead. Eventually, McMurtry adapted the concept into the novel Lonesome Dove. Streets of Lairdo featured Sissy Spacek, initially considered for the role of J.C. Randy Quaid also played a role in the sequel. The inception of the last picture show traces back to actor Sal Mineo, who introduced Peter Bogdanovich to Larry McMurtry's relatively unknown novel. Although Mineo felt too old for the principal roles, his influence sparked the film's journey. In casting decisions, Ellen Burstyn's involvement took an intriguing turn. Initially considered for Genevieve, she read for all three older women characters. Peter Bogdanovich proposed the role of Ruth Popper, but Burstyn expressed a preference for Lois. Given the choice, she opted for Lois, a decision that shaped her involvement in the film. The collaborative efforts of these individuals and the adaptation process provide a glimpse into the intricate connections that shaped the last picture show, shedding light on its evolution from concept to screen. These behind-the-scenes dynamics underscore the film's unique journey, revealing the intricate decision-making that unfolded during its production. Cloris Leachman, shedding light on her turbulent marriage, revealed that an unshot scene could have unveiled her husband's homosexuality in the last picture show. Budget constraints, however, prevented the implicit revelation. Ben Johnson's role as Sam the Lion almost didn't happen due to the character's verbosity. Initially resistant, Johnson changed his mind under John Ford's persuasion, questioning if he wanted to be forever relegated to John Wayne's sidekick. Remarkably, Ben Johnson remains the sole person to clinch both an Academy Award and a Cowboy World Championship in rodeo. These insights into the behind-the-scenes of the last picture show add intriguing layers to the film's production, showcasing the diverse factors that shaped its narrative. Each revelation provides a glimpse into the distinctive decisions that molded the movie, highlighting its unique journey from concept to screen. Filmed in Archer City, Texas, the setting of Larry McMurtry's novel, The Last Picture Show captures the essence of a small-town atmosphere. Director Peter Bogdanovich, after scouting various locations, chose Archer City, a decision influenced by McMurtry's hometown connection. The Royal Theater, a prominent location in the film, was later rebuilt for the sequel, Texasville. Presently, it no longer screens films, but hosts the Texasville Opry and other performances. Bogdanovich took the lead in editing the film with minimal input from Don Cameron, who was credited as an editor. Despite Bogdanovich's claim of near solo editing, Cameron's name appeared in the credits. Jimmy Dean, the singer, was Bogdanovich's choice for the role of Abilene, but the studio rejected the suggestion. Dean's potential involvement could have added a different dimension to the cast. The Last Picture Show, a product of collaborative decisions and unique circumstances, offers a glimpse into the filmmaking process. The behind-the-scenes details, from location choices to editing, contribute to the distinctive journey of bringing the story to the screen. Peter Bogdanovich, director of The Last Picture Show, discovered Sybil Shepard through a magazine cover, later watching an old silent screen test shot by Roger Vadim, leading to her casting. Ben Johnson's brief 9-minute and 54-second performance in the film set a record for the shortest to win an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Johnson, also known as Sam the Lion, was an uncredited stuntman in the 1948 film Red River, the last picture show referenced in the title. These details offer insights into the casting choices and a notable Oscar achievement in the film's history. The Last Picture Show, a groundbreaking film from 1971, made cinematic history with its innovative use of popular recordings by original artists for its score. Featuring tracks by Frankie Lane, Hank Williams, Joe Stafford, and others, the film set a new standard in soundtracking. During the production, Sybil Shepard, a key figure in the cast, faced a unique decision regarding nude scenes. Shepard had the option to back out, but after seeking input from female co-stars Cloris Leachman, Ellen Burstyn, and Eileen Brennan, she ultimately embraced the role as advised by her peers. 
Notably, behind-the-scenes dynamics included a brief fling between Sybil Shepard and Jeff Bridges, a discreet affair that Shepard later characterized as a singular occurrence in her career. The Last Picture Show, with its pioneering soundtrack and the nuanced decisions of its cast, exemplifies a distinctive era in filmmaking, highlighting the creative choices that contributed to its enduring impact on cinema. These insights offer a glimpse into the film's unique journey. In Wagon Master, starring Ben Johnson, a poster is displayed at the theater in the last picture show, subtly connecting the two films. This detail adds a layer of intertextuality, linking Johnson's past work to the narrative. During the filming of Sybil Shepard's nude scene at the indoor swimming pool, the cast members were not present. Instead, they were filmed separately, with only the cameraman, sound man, and director, Peter Bogdanovich, on set. This real-life event later inspired a similar scene in Irreconcilable Differences, with Sharon Stone in a role reminiscent of Shepard and Ryan O'Neill portraying a character modeled after Bogdanovich. Interestingly, Stone noted the stark contrast in experiences, emphasizing the crowded set during her nude scene. In the last picture show, when characters discuss going to Wichita, they are referring to Wichita Falls, Texas, not Wichita, Kansas. This geographical detail adds authenticity to the narrative, highlighting the specificity of the character's intentions. The subtle inclusion of the Wagon Master poster, the unique filming approach to Shepard's nude scene, and the accurate portrayal of the character's destination all contribute to the film's realism and attention to detail. These aspects showcase the thoughtful decisions made during the production, providing viewers with a deeper understanding of the last picture show's intricacies.